So today in this video, I'm going to show you a really cool 3D zooming effect in Elementor. There is no custom code whatsoever in this tutorial. And it is a really cool effect that you should try on your own websites. So over here, you can see there's this image. And if we scroll, you can see how this section actually zooms out and all these other elements start coming into view. And if we scroll more, you can see that here is the rest of the website working just like normal. Now again, no code whatsoever to this. And if we scroll back up, the elements go and disappear. And then the main image appears just like the original form. Something I do have to note before we get started on anything about this, if I scroll in a bit more, here in this section over here, you cannot put any button or clickable action because that other outer image is still present. It's just not visible in the viewport. So th this is fine for text and images and things like that. If you want anything like a button, you would have to do it in the rest of the website over here, not in the section because it's just not going to work because when you're clicking, what you are actually clicking is this image right over here. So th this is great for a hero section, but anything functional like buttons, contact forms or newsletters or anything like that, it's not going to work over here because you can't click it. The only time that stuff will work again is just on the rest of the page. Now, if you just want to download the entire template and not go through this tutorial, in the description of this video, there's going to be a link that's going to take you to this page on my website. This is for the complete template. What you do is click and download it. Once you've downloaded the zip file, or you just go and extract the contents. And this is the template file right over here. The other one is a PDF thanking you for the download. This is the one we're going to be putting into Elementor. So here in the Elementor page builder, to install the template, we go and say add template. Here in the library, we say import template. And then we just drag this across into this window and we let go. Here we just say continue. And we're going to be using the 3D zoom scroll template. Do remember that the images are going to take a while to download onto your site. So if you go and click and install this very quickly, you're not going to give time for the images to download. So do give it a minute or two. Once you know that the images have been transferred, then you can just say insert, say apply. And there is the working template perfect for you to use. Now over here, it will look funny in the designer. But if you go into the actual page itself, you'll see that everything lines up just fine. Now for those of you who want to follow along to build this yourself, let's go and do that now. So over here, I'm just going to go and delete everything. And we're going to start this from scratch. So now the first thing we're going to do is just make sure that your navigator is open over here. If you don't have it, it's this button right here that says structure. It'll open up this navigator here. We are going to need this in this tutorial. The first element we're going to add here is the first container. Once we have this container, we are going to go to the structure and we're going to say duplicate. Now this first container, we're going to change its name. So we're going to double click this first container and I'm going to call this the hero section. The second container, I'm going to change its name as well. I'm going to say rest of content. Now, while we're here in the rest of the content, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stylize everything over here and then we're going to go into the header. For the settings of the rest of content, I'm going to make sure that this is full width, make sure it's 100%, change it to VH and say that this is 100 as well. The direction we are going to go the horizontally and the align items we're going to say center. Now under advanced, we are going to go down to the Z index of this. And here we're going to say that this is four. The reason for that is going to make sure that anything that appears from this point onwards is going to be clickable. So we do have to give it the Z index of four. So now here we can stylize it however we want. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add two containers quick and say duplicate. Now we've got those over here. This left one over here. What I'm going to do is add a title. I'm going to add the text editor. The title, I'm just going to change the color. Maybe make it center. The text editor, same thing. I'm going to make it center and just change the color. Then on the right hand side, I am going to say an image. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to choose my image. Now before I go and pick the image, in the description of this video, there's going to be a link that's going to take you to the reference page that has all the images that you can go and download and follow along. So if you click on that link, it's going to take you to this page. If we scroll down, here you can just go and download the images that I'm using in this tutorial. Now back in the editor, I'm going to go and choose the image and I'm going to choose this one with the ocean right over there. Now that I'm happy with that, this is going to be all that we have to do in this container. Whatever else you needed, say if you wanted to add a contact form or anything else, just make sure it's 
in the container called rest of content and the web pages is going to work like normal. So now we're done with that container. Let's go and make that hero section. So if we click on the container called hero section, we're going to do some settings over here. Then so the content width, we're going to say this is full width, 100%. We are going to change the min height to VH and we're going to give this a value of 300. In the additional options, we're going to say overflow is hidden. Once you've done that, then we go over to advanced and the padding, we're just going to set this to zero. Now inside this container, we're going to add two more. The first one's going to house the overlay image and the second one's going to be the background with all the content there. So we're going to click on this plus sign, take a container, put it in, in the navigator and I'm going to say duplicate containers. Now this first container, I'm going to say that this is the outer image and the second one, I'm going to say inner image content. Container. Now that we have those, I'm going to work with the inner image container over here first. So while we're in the settings of this thing, we're going to make sure that this is full width and the min height is VH set to 100. The direction, we're going to make sure it's horizontal. And then under style, we're going to give this a background image. The image that we're going to be using is this one with the palm trees. We're going to say insert. Then the settings for this is going to be center center. The repeat is going to be no repeat and display size is cover. Then once you've done that, we're going to go to advanced. The padding we're going to set to zero. And if we go to the Z index, we're going to say that this is one. Motion effects. The sticky we are going to say top. And then the last thing over here under motion effects is we're just going to say stay in column. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to be putting in two containers here. One's going to be for the image, the other one's going to be for the content. So we're going to click this plus sign, take the container, put it in, and then just duplicate it across. So this first one, I'm going to rename it to the image container. And the second one is just the content container. Now, if we click on the image container, let's change a few things over here. So the width, we're going to keep it at full width at 100. The min height, we're going to change this to VH as well. And we're going to say that this is 100. The justify content, we're going to put center. And then under advanced, the padding is going to be set at zero. Something that I'm going to be doing personally over here is if I go to responsiveness, I'm just going to hide this on mobile. Okay, so now we're done with that. We're going to go and put in the image here. So we're going to click on the plus sign. The image widget, we're going to put that into place here. And we're going to choose that couple that were on the beach. So there it is, say select, and we're going to change a couple of things of this image. So the image resolution, we can change this to full. What we're looking for is the height. We're going to change this to VH, and we're going to say that this is 100. And then the object fit is contain, making sure that the object position is going to be center center. Now, if we go to advanced and we scroll down to motion effects, we want scrolling effects. So what we're going to do is going to check that, make sure it's on for the horizontal scroll. We're going to say that this is going to be to the right. We're going to crank this up to 10. We're going to drop the second arrow over here down to 50, just like that, making sure that the first one is on zero. And then the effect relates to, we're going to say that this is the entire page. Okay, so now we're done with the motion effects of this image. We're going to go over to transform. The scale, I'm going to say on, and I want this to a 1.3. Okay, so now we're done with that. Let's go and concentrate on the content container. All over here, I've seen that it's full width. All I'm going to do is come down to justify content. I'm going to say this is center. And then if I go to advance the margin, I'm just going to say this is 10 all around. Now inside here, I'm going to add another container. So click this plus sign, take a container, put it in. I'm going to keep it at boxed. I'm going to keep it at the standard settings there. The style, I'm going to change this background color a bit. So I'm going to click on the classic. I'm going to choose black and I'm going to make this pretty transparent. I think that there is about fine, say a 40%. Then background overlay, I'm going to choose this color as a black. The opacity can say the same. The CSS filters, I'm going to crank the blur up to 10. It's going to give a nice little shadowy effect over there and everything else can stay the same. So it's just a slight shadow that's happening around this container. Then if we head over to border, the border radius, I'm setting this to 25. Okay, so now we've done with the border, I'm gonna go over to advanced, the margin I'm gonna put at 10, and padding 50. Now, if we come down to motion effects, we're gonna save the scrolling effect. The horizontal scroll, we're gonna say that this is to the left, 
we're going to crank it up to 10 and we also got to drop this down to 50. So now as you scroll you can see how the things come in and out. Then the effects relative to we're going to say entire page and we're good to go there. Now inside this container I'm going to add a heading and some text. So take the heading widget, put it in and add the text editor as well. For the heading title, I was going to put in Dream Holiday, making sure that this is an H1. The style, I'm going to put this to white. The typography of this heading, I'm going to leave it at Lato. It's fine. It doesn't really matter. The size, maybe 110. Make sure it is uppercase and everything else seems fine there. Then text shadow, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to choose a yellow. Let me just crank it up so I can see it nicely. That should be fine over there. And then I'm going to put this, making sure it's in RGBA, make sure I'm going to put this down to about a 75. So what we're going to be doing over here is we're going to do a glow effect around the text. Then the blur, I was going to set this to say 15. Now if this is too strong for you, you can always just turn it down. So you can take this yellow, you can actually just put a little bit less. But for me over here, it's fine. Then for the actual text, all I'm going to do really is just put this to white. And I don't have to worry about anything else really. So if you want to change the sizing, whatever, it's up to you. Okay, so now we're done with that hole in the container. We are finally going to be doing the outer image on top of this. So now if we head over to the outer image, let's go and change a couple of settings over here. So the content width, we're going to make sure it's full width. The height, we're going to change this to the H. We're going to set this to 100. The center, we're going to justify our content to the center. Then under style, we're going to click on this classic. Select the image and we want this lady in with this circle background. So select, going to keep it at full. We're going to put the position to center center. The repeat to no repeat and the display size to cover. Okay, so now if we go over to advanced, we can leave all these settings over here. What we're going to be looking for is the position. We're going to say this is fixed. We can keep it at zero, zero. The Z index, we have to put this at two. Then if we go to motion effects, the scrolling effects we want on. And what we're looking for is scale. So here we're going to set this to a 120 and we're going to make sure that everything is right at the edges. So it's going to be zero and 100%. The effects relative to, we're going to say entire page. And we are done so if we preview this you can see as we scroll there's a whole effect perfectly working without any code whatsoever the only downside to not using code the fact that we have to z index everything and the rest of your page has to be built inside this rest of content container that's the only drawback but that's really only on the design side and it won't affect anything on the user side so now that we've done all this stuff all we have to do is click publish and yes this works in mobile but in mobile we hit this image over here because it will just look funny on top of the content so we didn't really need it but this whole section over here where it says the dream holiday this is still going to come in and the other image is still going to zoom out that whole shebang i hope you liked this video if you did smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing as well that stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine if you have any suggestions or anything then just put a comment down below let me see what i can do and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.